Hey guys, this is Miko Yuck. So I'm excited today to quickly give you guys some tips on why data collaboration is not scary. So one of the first areas that I see, and I went through this when I started my career in New York, that people are afraid about, is they're kind of afraid about asking questions. Whether the question is, hey, do you want to meet? And maybe let's go through this. Or whether the question, or whether you're in a room with someone trying to, let's say, gather requirements and help them with their data, you're afraid to just ask them the wrong question. What I would say about that, I'll give you two techniques. If your issue is first about asking the question around, hey, should we collaborate and you're nervous, instead of just going up to someone kind of cold turkey, or if you feel that like you're bothering them, instead of approaching them on a personal level and ask a question like, hey, I noticed that you were on vacation, you know, do a little bit of research um, and you went to the mountains in Montana. I'm just curious, like, how was that? Because me and my family are thinking about going to Big Sky in Montana, right? And so I would recommend, you know, pairing up two or three personal questions. And then once there's a little bit of comfortability, then I would say, hey, by the way, I was just wondering, I know we need, you know, I'm trying to get you to stuff. Do you want to maybe, you know, get together next week or later on this week? I'm flexible. You know, here's my calendar. Let me know what works for you. So if you are having that issue where you don't get that nonverbal cue and we all know what that looks like, I would just jump into one or two personal questions based on research, whether you're looking at their calendar, you could see they were out of office for whatever time are coming up. And I get, you know, I get them a little bit more comfortable with that. The second area of asking questions is scary to people is now, let's say you get the person in the room. So this is an instance that you're working with them, maybe to gather requirements or discuss the data. You're kind of afraid to ask the wrong questions, right? For two reasons. One reason is if you ask the wrong question, this could literally take forever, which sucks. The other reason is if you ask the wrong question, you know, they could kind of question, do you know what you're talking about? Right. And God forbid you don't. And so there's a little bit of like saving face there. People are very nervous. So what I recommend for those is in terms of asking the question, and I actually teach this in my BI data storytelling framework, go figure, because when I started in New York, I was asking the wrong questions to gather requirements and I was spinning in circles. Like it was really bad. I was in New York crying because I'm like, you know what? These people are answering. It's just coming at me so fast. And I'm like, how do I visualize this? Right. I was like the data this person. So what I recommend here is that instead of focusing on asking the wrong question, I would make sure, number one, to do something that my mom taught me, which is she said, hey, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Make sure you're listening. Second of all, understand what your role is, right? There's a great book by Donna Miller called Building Your Story Brand. And he emphasizes the fact in that book that we are not the hero. We are the guide. OK, so if you are a Star Wars fan, you are not Skywalker. You are that old guy. I forget his name, Overshore or whatever. You're that old guy that's the guide with all the wisdom. And your goal is to make the hero, which is the end user, shine. And so instead of focusing on asking these detailed questions for your understanding, more focus on helping them to think through their problem. Right. So that's a different quite of a question. It's not, hey, what does this data mean? What is this? It's, hey, OK, so I heard what you said here. Let's think about this and just help me understand A, B, C, D, or maybe, you know, it's just a different conversation when you're thinking in a mindset of helping someone to think through a problem and facilitating it versus just wanting to cater to your own understanding. And don't get me wrong, you understand it is important, but if you focus first and helping them to kind of think through this process, there's going to build so much trust that they won't be annoyed or, or you know, just frustrated when you ask them more detailed questions. So those are my recommendations. These are the soft skills that are needed. They do take practice. Do not get too much in your head. When you get into your head, people fall off because they're like, imagine being on the other side, you see someone, they can't quite get it together. Don't do this. The, you want to be yourself, but be intentional about how you go about asking those questions. And that's why I'm super passionate, passionate about the BI Data Story framework that I created because of the fact that asking questions is a core. All right. So I'm excited. Kate, thank you for having me. Dedicated audience. Mwah. Hope this helps somebody.